this is me again and uh, today we will talk about the lumbar spine so we go through the different you know features anatomical features of the lumbar vertebrae and at the end of the video as we did before like we will go through the comparative anatomy and look for the differences between the different animal species so now let's uh, look at the lumbar spine and start with this example this is the lumbar vertebrae of the sheep so in general you know the lumbar vertebra has um, the same features like other vertebra including for example ventrally located the ventral uh, body so this is the body of the vertebra so dorsally here we have the spinous processes spinous processes they are here somehow uh, cranio dorsally directed we have very developed transverse processes as you can see left and right here and uh, so to look exactly at the different structures like let's move and, and uh, take that one of the horse for example so this is the number vertebra of the horse as you can see here the body has again two extremities so this is the cranial extremity uh, and this is the caudal extremity how can we know which one is the cranial which one is the caudal Again, like other vertebra, so the cranial extremity or the cranial surface is convex, while the caudal surface is concave in shape. Um, ventrally, uh, we have very developed thick uh, ventral crest or ventral spine, uh, according to some you know anatomists. Um, here. Um, we have, as we said before, very developed like uh, spinous process. Uh, the spinous process is longer, of course, uh, than that one of the cervical vertebrae, but is shorter than that one of the thoracic vertebrae. And in this case, all spinous processes are craniodorsally directed. Craniodorsally. So this is the cranial extremities. So craniodorsally directed. Yeah. Uh, the, the spinous processes in all animals they end up here towards and it was a, a, a tuberosity as you can see there the transverse processes are of course very developed like horizontally in, and there are some differences between the animals we will talk about later um, uh, here in the cranial view we can see the two uh, cranial articular processes this is the cranial articular processes and caudally of course we have the caudal articular processes if you look exactly they are somehow modified modified in shape uh, to, to to present actually the special connection or articulation between uh, this uh, processes so this is the number vertebrae of the camel on on the on the lateral dorsal surface of the cranial articular processes here we can find another projection this projection here and there this is what's called the mammillary process this is the mammillary process and before I forget you know in, in some cases um, we in all animals we may not be able to differentiate the borders between these two processes and in this case we name the whole one as mammillo articular process mammillo articular process articular process and mammillary process or mammillo articular process and that's also fine good uh, now of course like other vertebrae here we have the dorsal arch forming with the ventral uh, located body here the vertebral foramen if we go directly to the lateral view it's clear here we have yeah very flat cranial uh, vertebral notch and this is the caudal very deep caudal uh, vertebral notch they you know form together as we described before in other like like in other uh, vertebrae the intervertebral frame the intervertebral frame you know for formed by the cranial and the caudal vertebral notches so uh, this is the exit of you know the lumbar 
spine and nerves. The lumbar spine and nerves. Let's look at that one here again. This is very clear. The intervertebral foramen, you know, formed by the caudal vertebral notch and the cranial vertebral notch here between the adjacent uh, vertebra, you know, as an exit for the lumbar vertebral. Uh, for uh, intervertebral, sorry, for, as an exit for the spinal nerves from the lumbar region of the spinal cord. And now let's uh, move and look at some differences uh, between the different animal species. And in this case, let's uh, put the horse, for example, with the one, you know, of the ox. As you can see here, if we want to compare this one with that one here, you know, uh, yeah, we can see that the spinous process, spinous process of the horse is higher or longer than that one of the ox. Uh, while in, in contrast, you know, the transverse process uh, of the ox is more developed, uh, more longer, and they have like a um, cranial projection somehow you know or are facing finally here so or are directed cranially here in this area this is the case for example in the uh, in the in the dog in the dog if we look at that one of the dog so again let me just tell you that this is the cranial this is the cranial surface of this vertebra and this is the caudal surface of the last vertebra if we put them like this the head of the animal is in this direction, this direction. Here we can see how the transfers uh, uh, processes here are directed cranioventrally, cranioventrally. And if you want uh, uh, to imagine this one here inside the dog, you will find that this transfers process are directed toward the ribs toward the ribs and that's why in some books you will find that they will name them as a costal uh, process, costal process, costal process. Let's put the horse and compare that one of the horse with that one of the dog. So here the transverse processes are more transverse directed, laterally directed and here cranioventrally directed, cranioventrally directed. Uh, as I said before in the camel, so this is the camel, uh, okay the picture is not enough for this one, yeah okay, so in the camel, let's, let's move away from the picture, it's a bit away, so like this, yeah, so in the camel, um, yeah, again it's the transverse processes uh, are hard centrally, and a little bit like cranially direct, a little bit cranially directed. Um, I would like uh, so finally, finally, yeah. If, if we if we look at the lumbar vertebra of the ox and compare that one with that one of the sheep, so they have somehow the same shape. Yeah, somehow they have the same shape. This this one is is of the dog. So let me just put it here. This is dog. And this is sheep, this is ox, so sheep and ox, they have the same sheep, look at this projection here, and that's why, so we always say that uh, sheep is a small ox, yeah, don't forget this. And here I would like to mention something else, like uh, in the horse, and that's actually just in the horse, you will find that the last two the last two vert, uh, lumbar vertebra and here <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you that uh, um, in all animals all animals have actually six lumbar vertebra six lumbar vertebra in this case for example this is the lumbar vertebra number one two three four five six and after that we have the sacrum okay so six lumbar vertebra in all animals uh, but not in carnivores. In carnivores, dog and cat, they have one more, so seven lumbar vertebrae. And in the horse, let's put this one again here. We move everything else so that we can see this example. In the horse, the last two vertebrae, number five and six, 
number vertebra they have extra if you look here they have extra articular service or articular articular facet on the transverse process for the articulation between for the articulation between the adjacent transverse processes and not only this the last lumbar vertebra has a very developed like articular surface or articular facet here for the articulation with the articular surface of the wing of the atla uh, of the axis uh, sorry with the wing of the sacrum of course yeah so this is the sacrum here and just in the horse as you can see here there uh, are articular services between the transverse process of the last uh, lumbar vertebra and the wings of the sacrum the wings of the sacrum like this like this of course the last the caudal service caudal vertebral service of the last lumbar vertebra articulates with the cranial articular service of the sacrum here and this is the case in all animals but in the horse there are two other articulation here on the side between the wings of the sacrum and the transverse processes of the last lumbar vertebra for more stabilization as you can see here and the same way as I said there's also articular facet here between the L6 and L5 in the horse in the horse you know located on the transverse processes so again let me just uh, put them together here in the horse we will find extra articular services between the transverse processes of the last vertebra lumbar vertebra in this case and the wings of the sacrum the wings of the sacrum of course just because we have this on the table uh, the last lumbar vertebra articulate also with the sacrum through the caudal articular processes caudal articular processes with the green articular processes of the sacrum so in general how many articular surfaces do we have so we have one between the bodies one on each side between the transverse process and the wings and two here uh, between the articular processes so let's put it together and this is how they articulate with each other okay so in the next video we will move and talk about the sacrum in details and the look at the comparative anatomy of the sacrum so in the dog uh, if we move to the lateral view let me show you this view this is the lateral view again again on the cranial articular surface on the cranial articular surface here where we can find the mammillary process let me move a little bit to this side so this is the mammillary process and as i said before in some cases uh, the mammillary process is not that distinguished from the uh, cranial articular process and that's why we can name them both as mammillo articular process and here in the lateral view and uh, this is very clear in the carnivores but not in other animals so here on the side you can find this projection here this projection is for muscle attachment left and right of course you can see that here so this is what's called the accessory process so this is the accessory process is for muscle attachments located on the lateral uh, service of the dorsal um, arch and they are caudally directed this is the accessory process of the lumbar vertebra